like a hare, like a deer, like a rabbit, running for the snare on your feet. Yes, I be. Are you Kulik? I've been waiting for you. Looks like you've had a long trip. 300 miles. Yeah, I left Texas fast. So fast we kill our horses, another mile of walking would kill us, too. <laughs> well, we got the loot here safe and sound. The problem is that Corbett's back there, just behind us. Ah, don't be a fool. We're in Colorado now, and Corbett can't cause trouble here. What do you say? Have the times been good or bad here, Gulick? Bad for outlaws. Especially if they're wanted for murder. They hang them just like they do in Texas. Now, if you don't believe me, ask Gulick. Who are you? Don't you understand, you idiot? When we thought we had him behind us, heh, he was in front all the while. That's him. That's Jonathan Corbett. <laughs> Unbuckle your belt. Mr. Proxon. I've heard a lot about you. Oh, really? Not as much as I've heard about you. Miller, as father of the groom, I would imagine you would have some advice to offer. Hmm? Oh, yes, yes. Excuse me, gentlemen. Well, this is my secretary, Mr. Lynch. And this is Captain von Schulenberg, who's a genuine Austrian baron. My bodyguard. Your name is well known in Texas. In Austria, we also know of it. <laughs> Professional courtesy. You're being complimented. The Baron was the best shot in Europe. 23 duels, 23 widows. My compliments. Thank you. I'm sure you've done better. Mm, I think the Baron is anxious to have you demonstrate your skill against his. I stopped playing with guns when I was a boy of 10. As you see, I surround myself with the best in every field. Shall we take a walk? Orbit, I've heard that you have political ambitions. 
Well, some of my friends want me to run for it, but I don't think I have much of a chance. You don't value yourself enough. Why, in Texas, you're more popular than Davy Crockett. You've cleaned out this whole area of outlaws and entirely at your own volition. Also, one time you were the sheriff. Not officially, and then not for long. My saloon with the gambling tables was more profitable. You know what you need? You need someone to buy you a campaign of high-level proportions. You mean someone like you? Exactly. Why? You and only you can help me realize a great project. The building of a railroad from the United States to Mexico through Texas. The only thing I need is a man like you in Senate to support me with the government. My railroad would advance this state up to 20 years in one day. Are you really interested in the progress of this country? Well, let's say uh, I construct this railroad and make millions of dollars. But I do construct it, and only I can. What do you say, Senator? All right. As long as we understand one another, Broxton. I'm interested in progress, not your personal profit. Fair enough. Hey, Shep. Hello, V, the McCoy brothers. Where have you two been keeping yourselves? I haven't seen you boys in months. They sure hate interfering with the festivities. But you should all hear this. We've been to Lonely Corner. Yeah, and Baker's little girl, no more than 12 years old. She's been raped, then stabbed to death. We found her body a couple hours ago. Do you know who it was? A Mexican, a young varmint called Cuchillo. Cuchillo Sanchez. Sanchez the knife. We followed him for 20 miles, but he was too smart to catch. He's headed south. Probably making steady tracks for that Mexican day laborers camp. We're going after him. The sheriff will have to organize a posse right now. Miller, what's the sense of us sending out a 30-man posse when we got one man who can do it all by himself? All honest men would be grateful to the one who brings this murder to justice. I'll bring you the Mexican for a wedding present. Yeah. This will make you my only deputy. What do I need this for? Wear it. A star can come in handy. And shine brightly on your plans? Yeah. Hasta mañana. Corbett, don't you need information about the Mexican? His name is Cachilla Sanchez, and he'll be headed south. When someone talks to me, I want to see his face. Be careful, senor. He's quick with a knife, as you can see. Where is he? He's sitting in the barber's chair. chair. Get up, Cachillo.
You're the barber, aren't you? Then give me a shave. Gio Sanchez. I would have taken him in alive, but he put up a fight. It isn't Cuchillo. This boy just happens to look a lot like him. This is Paco Molinas, sentenced last month for robbery and murder and made an escape. Sentence is paid in full. Amen. You happen to get the wrong man. Because his clothes were the same, and when I found him, it was my horse he was riding. Well, if things were like that, you can stop looking around for Cuchillo. This one here found him first. Right now, the vultures have turned your Mexican into a heap of bones. Well, I'm going to find a hotel room. I'll be leaving tomorrow. There ain't no hotel anymore. There's nothing left. After the gold played out here, those that could just pulled out and left everything standing. But as a favor, I'll let you have the bunk in the front cell. Of course, for friends, there's another arrangement, if you like. The best thing about my work is you soon become acquainted with all kinds of people. Yesterday, I had a Mexican who said, if you know anyone around here who could pass for me, I'll give him a gun and the horse I'm riding. <laughs> Can you imagine? Why, I say? Because I want to have some fun. And would you believe it? He did. Come here. Sure. If you think we've talked enough. Hmm? Where'd you get this? Hey! Who gave you this? Don't, careful of my hand. Who gave you this? The Mexican, the one I told you about before. When? Yesterday, sometime around noon. Come on, what difference does it make to you? What was he like? Better mannered than you are. That's for sure. He had a nicer face than you have, too. So there. More sympathetic. More gentle. And he's much richer, too. That's what he told me. He's a very rich Mexican grandee. And if he hadn't been set on going with the Mormons, he could have stayed all night, too. Then I could convince him to stay with me. What a man... Hey! What... What a nerve. Take my hand away from your mouth. Will you be quiet? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me, is there a young Mexican with you? Yes. Which wagon's he in? Why, I put him in mine. But right now he's at the spring getting water with little Sarah. Little Sarah? How old is little Sarah? Thirteen. Why do you ask? Because this boy's one of her rape and murder of a little girl. Es muy bonito. 
Come on, Sarah, come on. The water here is shallow. You can touch the bottom, see? <laughs> come on. No. No, no. Sarah, please, come on. Don't make me coax. Sarah. Hey, listen. We play a game. You be the Mormon girl and I be the wolf, eh? <laughs> Pretty feet you have, Sarah. Muy bonito pie. Come over, Sarah. Let me see it. Sarah, come on. Ah, uh -uh, so that's it. You want to play, eh? Okay. No. 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 What are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> Get up, Cuchillo. I could easily kill you right now. Please don't. Don't rob me, senor. I swear I'm a poor Mexican. By the Virgin of Guadalupe. Have mercy, don't kill me. It was to rob us. Please, don't let him. Don't let him. Come on. But most of all, he was an idiot. Adios, chica. Gracias. Just a poor peon who doesn't bother asking names, senor. I'm here because my stomach's empty. Oh, clear out! Go on now, get moving. See, si, senor, but if that man's job is open now, maybe I could do it? You don't have to give me much, but please, I need work. We don't have jobs for Mexicans here. Vamos! No, wait! There's a job if the man wants it. 
It'll take a while for Mike to get patched up. Is there anything you're best at? I'm best in all I do, senora. Perhaps, we'll see. The man is hungry, get a plate. Huh, not me. That's an order. Like working now? Oh, now I could stop a steal with my two hands. All right, you show us what you can do. Now, who's got an idea? Well, we got old Barney. He's big and he's sure mean. He's right back there in the old corral. All right, we've got old Barney. <laughs> We've been waiting for you, Wrangler. That's old Barney. You said you could stop a bull with your bare hands, didn't you? Well, come on. Prove it. <laughs> At my orders, just like the others.
are you doing, mister? I'm taking this man with me. He belongs to us. He's wanted by the law. In these mountains, we got no law but the bullets in our guns. I said I'm taking Cachillo with me. You've been told he's not going back there. my men for what happened. They shouldn't have provoked you, senor. Corbett. I rather think I owe you an apology. But I don't want you to believe that this place is so backward and so barren that the rules of hospitality have been forgotten. Come to the house. That one? He'll go back with you. Put him in a safe place. He'll be quite all right, I assure you. May you burn and may your own mother mourn your birth and pray God you will die. You'll have some tea. So I found myself a widow and alone on this isolated ranch. It's very lonely for a woman, especially because I was educated for finer things. You both may go. men talk and act just like beasts, you see. It's hard to keep on holding their respect. By the looks of things, you're doing all right. What are they doing? She's got him alone. See, she has a new one, you poor idiots. You should know by now how she does it. I bet she didn't wait a minute as soon as you got Shut out of your mouth. Mm. But I feel sorry for you, poor boys, because you are sharing this pan with me while they're there alone. Now he's kissing her soft white neck while she runs her fingers up his back. <laughs> Soon there's nothing she won't give to him, and so he reaches out. Shut up! I'll kill you if you don't shut up! The best thing that's happened in this place is our meeting one another. What are you trying to say? Can't you see it all now? He's just beginning. He's quick with a gun. He can take what he wants. And she'll try to keep him here. It's bound to happen. But if he stays, he'll be your new boss. He'll be here forever. And he'll get rid of you all, one by one. Well, I mean it too. You know what he came here for. If I go back there, to the gringos. They'll make me hang. But if we all go after him, we can stop him. Or else, we'll beat them. And if we do? I tell you, it's in your hands. We wait for him to come out, and then we shoot him first. Huh? Give me a gun, we can kill him together. Listen, amigo, you better be right. We'll keep an eye on you. Huh? You watch me. You see me kill him even before you can shoot. What? And it's a deal, huh? You keep hoping that. Keep hoping. We need a man here. A real man of strength. A man like you. Stay here, Corbett. No. You wouldn't be satisfied with just one man. You enjoy being Queen Bee too much. I saw you look at that Mexican outside. You saved him only for one reason, so you could kill him yourself. Thanks for the tea. You, Mexico. 
show him. Get back so fast behind the door. Listen, I try to get around behind him. If you can keep him busy in front. Right, go ahead. Keep him under fire. It's a kid's trick to make you shoot and waste all of your ammunition. You won't fool me this time. you steal a horse, make sure there's a canteen. Get down. Take it easy. Ah, you stink. Pfft. If the pistols didn't make you brave, you couldn't do this to me. Hijo de burro. Pfft. You talking to me? And if it weren't for those stupid pigs back there, you wouldn't have even a chance to catch me. I would have made you run. You would never get me by yourself. Understand? Never. By yourself, you couldn't catch a limping snail. Go ahead. When I finish. 
finish breakfast, I'll get the horse and catch up with you. You must have come out of your mother running. Ah. <laughs> Hungry? Well, I guess even animals have to eat. Here. you about me. I've got nothing against you. It's the lawyer broke the counts. Huh? So that's it. And why does the law count? You mean you don't know? Huh? I do know a law. The one that says most of the world's two parts, the masters and the Pompeians. In my country, there was such a law. And no one ever knew who wrote it, but we lived under it. Then one day, we listened to Juarez. And he said we should change it. Everybody should be nice and people should stop hating each other and let the Bayons go free. Oh boy. We thought it would work for a while, but nothing really changed. So you started running again. Hmm. What was the use? Because I always get stopped. You don't see what cash I've got. Bet you don't know I got a family. I've got three children, no money to feed them. My wife is a saint. She works from morning to night as a maid to a priest. And if I was in your place, I bet I would say this man should be free to go. If I was in your place, I'd say the same thing. Eh? Eh? But I wouldn't be foolish enough to expect another man to believe me. Listen, don't you think you owe me some gratitude? I helped you at the ranch, remember? So you could run. You needed the extra time to escape. But if I hadn't, you... Besides, I'm not able to kill a man unless it's a fair fight. I couldn't do it. But a girl of 12... Her, you could. <laughs> Rest in peace, little snake. You saw it. You've got a bite. If you want, I can draw it out. It's the only way to get rid of the poison. Otherwise, it will soon get into your veins and kill you. Decide fast, huh? Don't think you have a lot of time. In another minute, it could be too late, huh? Still isn't enough, you know. Now I should be burned to close up the wound. Ah, <laughs> yes. We really should burn it. Get up. Turn around.
I told you I couldn't kill a man in cold blood. Now maybe you believe it. Go ahead. I'll be dead in a couple of minutes anyway. <laughs> This is what bit you. Here. It's yours. You want him? If you don't kill me right now, it'll be the last mistake you ever make. Ah, but the kill is a bigger mistake. If I kill you, they'll just send another man after me who's much smarter. Much. Anyway. Now you'll owe me something. I could have killed you, I didn't. From now on, we have an account to settle, you and I. The next time, remember that. But there won't be a next time. Blessed yet, Padre? Uh, no. Uh, turn by mistake. What in the world happened, brother? How long you been out here? Four or five days. I don't know. Take it easy. You got to rest. I'm after a man. An outlaw. You've got to give me a horse and a gun. Pull of my leg. He's headed towards Mexico, and I've got to catch him before he reaches the border. I haven't any money on me. But any sheriff in Texas will vouch for me and pay you. My name's Corbett. Jonathan Corbett. All right, Corbett. I'll try to be of some help to you. You can climb on my wagon and get some rest. We're going to California. But as soon as you get to the first town, oh, you can... Oh, I'm losing time. I need a horse now. A horse? You expect me to part with one you're local here? Let him escape. Someone else will catch him. If he gets into Mexico, don't you understand he's free? No, I don't understand. I'm sorry.
should make some kind of sound coming through it, or one more minute and I'd have hit you. May I see that knife? Oh, yes, of course, here. But I ask that you please don't show it to Brother Smith. He doesn't like us to play around like this. Who gave it to you? Uh, a Mexican boy. Where is he? Oh, he's not here now. He departed yesterday. He's gone to Mexico. We live right by the border. You mean he crossed it? Yes. And you must realize that the hunt is over. Because you say it is? You don't have the right to cross that line. Cachillo belongs to the law of my country. I'm not talking about the law. When you cross over that line, you'll be as bad as he is. It becomes a personal matter, and you know it. It's my job to bring him in. That pistol's been hanging from your belt a long while, I see. In time, its weight always changes a man. What do you know about men who carry guns? Do you mind giving it to me for a minute? These days, they seem much lighter. Did you see that? It's an old habit, and yet it's been 30 years. When I first came here, the brothers promptly named me Brother Smith and Wesson. But mine was in the holster. I was running. Anybody who can shoot like you doesn't have to run. I hated the madman that I had become inside. And if it isn't too late, Corbett, you must stop running. You can't keep thinking it won't happen to you. Do you understand? Yes, I'm sure you do, but you don't care. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry also for you. Ready, they child? Yes, a little girl. Mm. How old was this girl? Twelve. Uh, was she good looking? Was it your sister? Was it your cousin? I never saw her. I don't understand. Why are you following after this Cuchillo? You must be a sheriff. No. Mm, I don't get you. Captain, in my country, even a private citizen who believes in justice can help out the law. But now you come to Mexico. That's right. Now I'm asking you to help me find this man. I'm not sure I should. You can't even prove to me who you are. Look, you must have heard of this Cuchillo. I know he lives in your town. Mm. He said his wife worked for the Padre. <laughs> That's a big laugh. The Padre never let her enter the church. Rosita's worked in a bordello since she was 15. Yes, I know Cuchillo. I know that one well. He's one of those pieces of trash who stood with Juarez. Ah, then you're looking for him too. Maybe I am. But I'm not doing it for you. In that case, I'll find him myself. Goodbye, Captain. You know, senor, there are people I hate even worse than followers of Juarez. I despise all Americanos. So you go ahead. Have fun. It makes no difference to me who kills who. But be careful. You do anything in this town to cause me trouble, and I'll cause you more. So watch out. Wife of Cuchillo. Her name is Rosita.
Twenty, you pay it now. Are you the wife of Kajil? Don't talk to me about being the wife of that pig. How long's it been since he was here? In three months he doesn't think about me, then he showed up here yesterday. Promised to stay here with me, then stole all I had. Took my Madonna from me. Where's the gun now? How do I know? He's probably out drunk, giving another woman what I earned. But I pray he'll come back. And then I'll scratch his eyes out, the good-for-nothing pig. All right, calm down. When I find him, it won't be a next time. Why do you say that? He won't bother you anymore, because he'll be hung for murder. Hang my man? Yes. You! You want to hang my man? I'll kill you, filthy scum! You're defending him. A rapist. A murderer. Don't you understand? Help! Help stop him! He's a thief! He's trying to go without paying me! Do you hear? Don't let him get away! No! Wait a minute! Stop him! Stop the Americano! because he drank a little. Uh, how many laws do you have anyway? Is it now a crime for a man to be happy? It's a crime to knife people and then to bite a police when he tries to stop you when you burn down the place. No, no, it was those two who provoked me. And the damn lamp fell out of my hand. And the policeman put his hand in my mouth. I only closed it. Come on, get in. But Stay I swear there. it. Now you be quiet. You're a brave man when there are bars between us. That's what's bothering you. Eh? <laughs> he 
Here's the reason for wanting my cell changed. I've been in this jail before, and the last time, no one bothered to search me. Why don't you make a racket? Stop me from going. You know you're a strange person. Me, if I was in your place, I'd have the guard at that door without batting an eye. It's fortunate for me, my country's walls are made of mud and dried spit. Canto me faltas tu, canto me faltas tu. I'll get you. <laughs> you can't run fast enough or far enough. I'll hunt you down and kill you like the rotten beast you are. Beast, but what about what you are? Yes, I'm a beast, all right, because I have to keep running. But can I stop to explain myself without being killed? But you must have proof, huh? No, not you. They told you I was guilty, and right away you start running after me. You are the beast, because you didn't even ask if it was true or not. But what if I give you a big laugh, huh? What if I tell you I did murder that girl? It so happens I know who did. <laughs> <laughs> you love to, <laughs> if you know who that person really was. If you don't know already, because if you know the truth, from now on you'll be the one who's hunted. And you'll find you had much more fun when you were the hunter. Adios, amigo. You never get me, amigo. <laughs> Open up. You're free now, get out. You've been cleared. San Antonio sent a telegram. You're Corbett, all right. Now watch out. I'm not forgetting hey, where's that. Where's the other one? Who? Oh. That dirty swine, Cuchillo. Who else could escape in half an hour? Huh. So you can continue the hunt. Don't worry, no one will stop you, you know. As I already told you, here in Mexico, the Americanos and the dogs of Juarez can make trouble for each other with the approval of the authorities. I buy it for you. Aaron, ask him where in the devil he's been. Orbit, I've been looking for you for two days. No, Broxton, I don't buy your idea. Listen to me. When the telegram from the Mexican police arrived, I noticed that you were in trouble. So I took the effort to come here personally. And I did so not to listen to your opinion, but to clear up this matter. And amongst all this is a matter of a million dollars that nearly gets spilled because of a despicable Mexican. 
But right now, the despicable Mexican means more to me than all your money. Or the election. But you also belong to me, Corbett. Therefore, I want that Mexican liquidated. I have my own method, Broxton. But your method has failed. Now we'll use mine. And I guarantee you this two-bit Mexican won't get away from me. Oh, our gentle owner of the house is not easily offended. After all, he hopes to participate in our railroad transaction. And furthermore, he doesn't always understand our language. I prepared all my men, senor. They're all waiting outside the house now. That is, I trust you still decided on it. Well, at least as sure as you are of wanting to enter into my business. Yet, I understand he's a Mexican just like you are. Oh, no. This man's brought a pay on. Now listen to me. Each one of you will be paid 100 pesos. Is that clear? And the one who catches him will be paid 1,000 pesos. And remember, I want this cachillo caught. All you have to do is find him. But turn this country upside down if you have to, but find him. All right, now, clear out. How long will you be gone this time? I don't know. Where will you go? Somewhere, I guess. Ed, you don't know what you can see when you look out over the Sierras. Mm-mm. A big ocean. Just how big is it? Biggers. Biggers. So big you can't see to the other side. Hey, I'd even have you come along with me. Ah, even to the sea? Sure. Who knows? <sighs> If you come, perhaps we can both steal a boat, huh? No, 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 senor! I'll say you, pig! Is that him? Uh, hey, come on! <laughs> Is it the good thing, are you fool? Sorry, Captain Segura. We seem to be having a lot of trouble tonight. What is it? Don Serrano's riders are all over the town, armed and looking for someone. Oh, Don Serrano. Ah, he's a big gentleman. A proprietor. Pays a big tax. And puts out much money for the church. What will we do? Oh. Do what I'm going to do. Go to bed. Sleep. Those who sleep don't see and don't hear. May I ask you a question, Corbett? When you are about to kill a man, what do you look at? I've asked this question of other men, and do you know what they always say? They look at his hands. I don't. I look at his eyes. Because a moment before he moves his hand, his uh, eyes betray him. And you can always read death in them. Yours. Or his. 
señor. ¿Y usted? How much longer do we have to stay in Mexico, Shep? Father can attend to this matter by himself. Can't we go home? Would you like another, senor? <sighs> don't you have too much already. For once, please don't, Shep. Cut it out. Leave me alone! my trunk tonight. I'm going home. What? I can't stand it anymore, not with Shep. You do something like that, and I'll wring your neck. But our marriage is... Yours isn't a marriage. It's an option on Miller's land over which my railroad must pass. Now, that's a lot of capital. And you know I don't want anybody to touch that capital. seen him lately. I thought they'd just gone away. They did with Baron von Schulenberg. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> you idiot. You think I did it for you? I did it for my daughter. I did it because I don't want anybody to know that my daughter is married to a murderer or violator. <laughs> now there's only one left. And when it's over, tomorrow after the Mexican is dead, then I begin to think about you. Where is he? I don't know. I haven't seen him. I don't know. I swear. Yes, you know. I, I swear. Where is he? What is it? Did they hurt you? No, no. Go. 
Please go, Gio. Run. Yes. Run. I sent for you, Rosita. No, no. Hurry, run. Please hurry. Go now. Be careful. We'll be together. You see. Go now. I designed this holster myself. I originated it when I realized that in America, the swiftness of the draw is more important than the precision of the shooting. I'll go and see if they've saddled the horses. <sighs> the sun is rising. It looks like a big ball of blood. I say that for those who believe in four signs. Not those. These. You know, with one of these, you can stop the charge of a mad buffalo. It explodes inside of the body like that. <laughs> you didn't know that hunting was my passion, did you? After making money. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I've been to Africa and India looking for all types of animals to kill. But there's still one type of animal that I haven't hunted. Not with a gun, that is. The hunting of man. Should be interesting. They've seen him. It seems he's hidden in the cane field.
No. If we stop Corbett, we'll never capture Cuchillo. It's better if we spread out. Roxton, you take the Baron and go around that side. Champ, you come with me. Your men here, go to Senor Roxton. seem nervous. What are you trying to say? I'm saying don't make any mistakes. Got that? Over there. Go on. Stupid idiot I've been. I always thought you were an honest man, Americano, and now I see how blind I was. You will kill me to cover up the truth. Go on. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I know now. Drop the rifle.
What's happened here? You're not blind. All right, kill him. Pull the trigger. Kill him! I could have killed him several times, Broxton. But something seemed wrong. And when you involved yourself personally in this thing, I knew it was wrong. You thought I'd shoot first and then think, is that it? That was your mistake. You're really too damn smart to be a senator. All right, Baron, he's yours.
I go in that direction. I go north. Cuchillo. Ah, de nada, amigo. Adios! But you never would have gotten... 